Okay, welcome everyone. I think going forward, I'm going to just talk and narrate as I paint. Um, sometimes I get lost in the moment and I don't talk. I also like to listen to music when I paint, but what I'm doing in this series, I got inspired by Lou Stein Art. So shout out to Lou. I'll put a link to her channel. And um, she did the series of a one painting, one canvas, five minutes for 21 days. And I thought, oh my goodness, what a brilliant idea. Um, I can do that. I can carve out five minutes and I'll do it in water-based media because it's super easy to grab and it's quick to dry and I'll just see where I get. I chose a 12 by 12 canvas for this. For these kinds of projects, sometimes squares can be um, easier to work with in the sense that they don't inherently have an orientation. And it's really funny because I really struggled working with squares for a really long time, but I'm kind of loving it now. Like I can turn it any way I want throughout the piece. And I do that with rectangles as well, but there's something about a square that just makes it uh, a little more freeing in that way, at least when you start. So what I'm doing here, I started off with a blank canvas. I didn't gesso it. It's just out of the package gesso. And I added um, a pencil, just a, a regular um, colored pencil, and just made some marks. And then I went in with some fluid acrylics. One of my absolutely favorite things to do at the beginning of a painting is to work with fluid media at any stage, really. But I love to see how it flows. I love to see when I spray it with water, which is what I'm doing right now, how it bleeds together, how the colors just mesh and meld and what sort of shapes it creates. I really, really love um, that type of effect in the freedom that it comes with. And right here, I'm adding some a uh, lizard and crimson and I just picked colors that spoke to me when I started this project and right there you can see where it's kind of bleeding together and it just makes me happy so that that was really cool and really fun I'm um, adding more water to let it bleed and see where it goes it's a little bit of glare I notice here as well from the lighting and this is funny <laughs> so when I paint intuitively I'll just throw paint down and where it lands is where it lands and when I put that fluorescent pink on there it just sort of landed in a glob and that's where it wanted to be so I took my finger and just started blending and making marks bringing things together there's no rhyme or reason at this stage or really for most stages for me and it's just fun and play. And I got to tell you, this five minutes went by super fast. So I'm off um, cleaning my hand right now with a paper towel that I didn't think to have next to me when I started. And now I'm adding some black acrylic ink. Just to give it some contrast, I know it's super early. This is layer one of 21. So it's not like anything here is gonna show up in the final painting, but sometimes adding that darkness gives the contrast that can help me react to it the next time I come to the painting on day two. So I'm just adding it and it's not really making as large shapes as I had kind of wanted. So I'm just sort of dragging the um, the applicator through the paint. I don't want to muddy my black too much, but I'm just kind of dragging it through just to kind of see what other shapes I can make. Again, being really free, just trying to create some contrast there with light and dark, break up some of those big shapes that don't really have much interest in them. And I think next here I grab, yeah, I love to use skewers. Um, these are just little wooden uh, kebab skewers that I use in pretty much all of my paintings to drag paint around, to scratch in, to make marks. Letting it mush around 
And that's it. There went the timer. Five minutes. Yay. See you next time.